This is a video with more examples to showcase the procedure of solving for the tangent and normal equations for a certain point along polynomial curves. Welcome to Differential Calculus. The first example has the equation, the square of x squared minus 3y is equal to 49x, where we look for the tangent and normal equations at a point where x is equal to 1. With only half of the coordinate given in the premise, we start by determining the x-coordinate of the point in the curve, and that is by substituting x as 1 in the equation. So we get the square of 1 square minus 3y is equal to 49 times 1. As we are looking for x, we free the equation from exponents and grouping so we take the square root of both sides and end up with 1 minus 3y is equal to 7. Now we can transpose 1 to the other side and have negative 3y is equal to 6. Then we can extract out y by dividing both sides by negative 3 to have y equal to negative 2. Now, we can start with the procedure by taking the first derivative. And again, we inject d all over dx to each term of the equation. So for the left side, we have the derivative of the square of the quantity x squared minus 3y and that is 2 times the same quantity x squared minus 3y, then take the derivative of that group. This is equated with the right side of the equation as the constant 49 times the derivative of x with respect to x. This is reduced to 1. So we can distribute d all over dx to both x squared and negative 3y, and taking their derivatives yield 2x times dx all over dx minus 3 times dy all over dx. Again, dx all over dx is 1 and dy all over dx is y prime. At this point, it is unnecessary to expand the left side of the equation, but rather we simplify it by moving the other terms to the right side. So we are left with 2x minus 3y prime on the left and the ratio of 49 and twice of x squared minus 3y on the right. Then again, we can simplify the term with y prime by transposing it to the other side while we move the other terms in one corner. With the last transposition, we get 3y prime is equal to 2x minus 49 all over 2 times the quantity of x squared minus 3y, where we can extract y prime by dividing everything by 3. So we end up with y prime is equal to 2x minus 49 all over 2 times the quantity of x squared minus 3y, and everything is divided by 3. Although the equation seems challenging, we can directly move to identify y prime by plugging the coordinates of the point of concern. So insert x as 1 and y as negative 2 into the equation and simplify the whole equation to get negative 1 half and this is the slope m of the curve at that point. Now we are ready to find the tangent and normal equations with the help of the point slope formula. Having y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1 plug in the coordinates as x1 and y1 and also place the slope m. Simplify the equation to have 2y plus 4 is equal to negative x plus 1. We transpose terms with variables on the left 
and constants are placed on the right. And the tangent equation of the curve at that point is x plus 2y is equal to negative 3. Next is the normal equation, and that is by flipping the coefficients, thus having 2x minus y. With the expression, substitute the coordinates once more, so that is 2 times 1 minus negative 2, which gives 4. So the normal equation is 2x minus y is equal to 4. Example 2. We have the equation 2x squared plus 3y squared is equal to 50x, and the x-coordinate of the point of concern is 1. Identify the y-coordinate by plugging x as 1 into the formula. That is 2 times 1 squared plus 3y squared is equal to 50 times 1. Collect all constants to the right, so we transpose 2 and we get 3y squared is equal to 48. Divide both sides by 3 to have y squared as 16. Take y by projecting the square root to the equation, so we get y as positive and negative 4. Moving on to the first derivative of the equation. Inject d all over dx to each term. We have 2 times the derivative of x squared, which is 2x times dx all over dx for the first term. Add 3 times the derivative of y squared, which is 2y times dy all over dx. On the right side, we have the constant 50 times the derivative of x with respect to x. dx all over dx is 1, and dy all over dx is y prime. So we get 4x plus 6y y prime is equal to 50. Isolate the term with y prime by transposing the term with it to the other side. Making the equation 6y y prime is equal to 50 minus 4x. Then we divide the whole equation by 6y to have y prime is equal to 50 minus 4x all over 6y. For the numerical value of the slope, we plug the coordinates, so we place 1, 4 into the equation to have 46 divided by 6 times 4, or that is 23 all over 12. The other point we can check is at 1 and negative 4, yielding negative 23 out of 12 for the slope. If we are to find the equations from the first quadrant point, the tangent is taken from the point-slope formula, where y1 is 4, x1 is 1, and m is 23 all over 12. Cross-multiply the denominator 12 to the other side, then distribute 23 and have 12y minus 48 is equal to 23x minus 23. Transpose terms with variables and constants to have the tangent equation as 23x minus 12y equal to negative 25. Continue with the normal equation by flipping coefficients to have 12x plus 23y. Substitute 1 and 4 for x and y to get 104. Thus, the normal equation is 12x plus 23y equal to 104. How about this example with the equation, the square of x squared minus 3y is equal to 50x, and the point with x equal to 2. Look for y from the original equation by injecting x equal to 2, so we get the square of 4 minus 3y is equal to 100. Take the square root to take the exponent away and have 4 minus 3y is equal to 10. Transpose 4 to the other side to isolate 3y and have negative 3y is equal to 6. We can now divide everything by negative 3 and get y equal to negative 2. The slope is identified by taking the first derivative of the equation. Insert d all over dx to each term. 
remember that the procedure for differentiating is from the outermost operation moving to the individual details. So the derivative of the square of x squared minus 3y is 2 times the quantity of x squared minus 3y with the derivative of that same quantity. The derivative of 50x is 50 times dx all over dx, which is taken as 1. The next step of the procedure makes 2 times the quantity of x squared minus 3y times 2x dx all over dx minus 3 dy all over dx is equal to 50. Then dx all over dx is simplified as 1 and dy all over dx is y prime. So the equation is simplified as twice of x squared minus 3y times the quantity of 2x minus 3y prime is equal to 50. And again, we don't need to expand the left corner of the equation, but instead move the other terms to the right and get 2x minus 3y prime is equal to 50 all upon 2 times the quantity of x squared minus 3y. Similarly, transpose negative 3y prime to the other side and the other term on the right will be moved with 2x. To completely isolate y prime, divide everything by 3 to have the following equation. Regardless on how complex it looks like, plug the coordinates 2 and negative 2 and get y prime as 1 half. This is the slope. Then we take the tangent and normal equations with the slope point formula. Place negative 2 for y1, 1 half for m, and 2 is for x1. Simplify it to have y plus 2 is equal to half of x minus 2. Cross multiply the denominator to have 2y plus 4 is equal to x minus 2. Transpose similar terms to have the tangent line as x minus 2y is equal to 6. The normal line follows the flip to get 2x plus y and equate this with the result of plugging in 2 and negative 2. Again, the normal line equation is 2x plus y is equal to 2. For example 4, we are tasked to find the tangent and normal equations at x equal to negative 1 for the curve 2x squared plus 2y squared is equal to negative 30x. Just like the previous examples, determine the y-coordinate of the point by plugging x as negative 1 into the equation, which would result to 2 plus 3y squared is equal to 30. Transpose the constant 2 to the other side to get 3y squared is equal to 28. Then this is the time to divide the equation by 3 to get y squared is equal to 28 all over 3. So to get y, take the square root of both sides, which shows that y is indeed the root of 28 upon 3. Now let's take the first derivative of the equation to have the slope. Add d all over dx to all the terms of the equation. Then differentiate them properly. The derivative of the first term comes as twice of 2x times dx all over dx. The second term has a derivative of twice of 2y times dy all over dx. The right corner also has the derivative of negative 30 as negative 30 times dx all over dx. Reduce dx all over dx as 1 and dy all over dx as y prime. To simplify the equation to 4x, plus 4yy prime is equal to negative 30. Then move 4x to the other side to have 4yy prime is equal to negative 30 minus 4x. So to take the equation for y prime, divide the equation by 4y to get y prime is equal to negative 30 minus 4x all over 4y. For the numerical slope value, 
plug the coordinates of the point to the y prime equation to come up with negative 13 times the root of 21 over 28 or that is about negative 2.1276. With the slope already known, plug the coordinates and m into the slope point formula, thereby arriving at 28y minus 28 all upon root of 3 is equal to 13 times the root of 21 times x plus 13 times the root of 21. Separate the terms with variables from the pure constants and have 13 root of 21x minus 28y is equal to negative 28 all upon root of 3 minus 13 times the root of 21. This is the answer, but if you are more comfortable using decimals, this is converted as 59.5735x minus 28y is equal to negative 75.7393. Next is to flip the coefficients of x and y. Then look for the expression's constants by plugging x and y coordinates once more. The normal equation counts out as 28x plus 59.5735y is equal to 154. 